Thank you very much. Well, thank you for the introduction. Thank you all for being here. First thing I should say that we are here as a part of a team of historians and, legal his and, and digital humanists to present our project along the following lines. In 1576, Emperor Maximilian II and uh, representatives of about 200 territories of all over the Holy Roman Empire, we mark those with the red lines, convened in the German city of Regensburg observed by diplomats from as far as France and Italy, Poland and Imperial Russia. Together, they formed the Imperial Diet, which was a pre-modern parliament, to discuss and decide on the political questions of the moment, such as taxes, uh, law and economy, for, uh, foreign and domestic affairs. Hundreds of scribes in thousands of documents recorded what was going on. So our uh, project is to provide an edition of as much of these documents as possible, which is not a standalone project. There have been other imperial diets. Hit Herty, the records of these diets have been edited in books. We, however, are doing it in different formats. First of all, ours is a digital edition, which means that all information is provided as structured data in an uh, TI-XML format. Secondly, it is a classic edition insofar as it provides transcriptions of some of the documents in questions. We have here the version of a reading text and we also provide a version with uh, a text critical apparatus. It is third uh, proto-edition, which I today learned that not only Georg Vogeler used this term, um, which means that there is also information about some documents which are not selected for transcription. In our case, this is uh, mostly the so-called archival, doc archival documentation, which means that it lists and describes uh, the relevant holdings of all the archives we were able to visit. And we also have images to some of these documents. And all this is based on an ontology that relates key elements and attributes uh, to make up what all this is about, uh, 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 namely in our case, pre-modern parliamentary <laughs> communication, which makes it an assertive edition. Now, one of the most interesting data provided in all parts of our edition are dates. And now over to Florian. Thank you. Um, which dates? Well, in the various parts of our edition, different categories of dates has been um, marked up and thus made accessible and machine readable. Um, first, uh, on the basis of the surviving lists of participants, registration dates um, could be collected for certain individuals in our index of persons. Uh, these show how many accredited persons were present at the diet and from which day on. A second category is administrative data in the archival description, namely the dates a document was issued, um, the dates a document arrived and was presented, and third, the dates a document was read to the scribes to copy it. All these dates distinguished as such, um, making it possible to examine, for example, chancery practices or postal routes. The minutes, protocolle, which logged events day by day, were also recorded on day level, which results in a detailed schedule um, of days in which various meetings or other events took place. A fourth category are the dates mentioned in transcribed texts, which are very heterogeneous data. Um, besides the date of the respective day entry, um, we have um, the mentions of previous or subsequent meetings or even of earlier imperial assemblies which indicate the actor's knowledge or the institutional memory. However, we face problems 
like all projects th that work with historical data and especially very heterogeneous data, um, which is based on the surviving records and an editorial selection of these heterogeneous sources, for example, minutes, but not only minutes. Um, for example, these minutes um, document the exact same day, um, not only document the exact same days, and not only in the same intensity. And they do not only document official meetings, but also unofficial ones. It is precisely because of that that we cannot conclude from the day's log that official meetings were held, that we have, in addition, manually compiled a list of meetings, official and unofficial ones, which thus um, indicate different types of meetings and their frequency, and can be compared and contrasted to the locked days in total and other mentions of these dates. Um, Roman will show us how. So during the project, we uh, visited 34 uh, archives to collect metadata about uh, relevant sources. This resulted in an archival documentation of about 10,000 documents. Selected documents of about 4,500 pages were edited and became the core of our digital edition. Overall, we recorded about 10,000 dates and are currently experimenting with visualization ideas. To gain an overview over the numerous dates and categories, uh, we use a visualization that was originally developed by Patternfly um, for the visualization of IT system events. This vis visualiza visualization has the benefit for us that our different data categories can be viewed individually, aligned, and compared. On the left-hand side uh, is the list of our seven date categories. On the top, we have the list of, of meetings, followed by the um, days recordings in the minutes, the dates in the edited texts, and the various administrative dates. By click on an event or group of an event, um, we get a table with more detail about uh, the, the different event, events and dates. Spikes in a timeline give us some hints on which events were important and um, especially for the contemporaries. For instance, in the year uh, 1570 and in the year 1575, there are imperial assemblies that were frequently mentioned in the edited texts or also in the archival documentation. Another visualization um, we are currently working on concerns the daily recordings in the minutes. Overall, about 2,600 um, at a total across all um, minutes. And an, an analysis of the distribution of frequencies of locked days in one um, way of the, um, or um, is one way of identifying particularly important deliberation sequences. We, see that we, decide, we decided to create a heat map with the weeks of the imperial diet on the epsilon axis and the weekdays on the x axis. Besides showing obvious, um, obvious important information, uh, for instance, that uh, with the start of the imperial diet on the 25th of June, also the amount of recordings in the minutes increased, the visualization also shows patterns that we did not expect. For example, the few recordings of meetings on Thursdays. To conclude, the edition of the Imperial Diet records of 1576 is uh, the first um, digital edition of Imperial Diet records, and several innovations um, were introduced. For example, uh, new is the archival documentation that we mentioned, which makes more data available for research. This makes it necessary to find tools to analyze the available data. For the presentation, we focused on the various date categories, 
and we have shown um, two time-based uh, visualizations we are currently working on and mentioned some questions arising from our brief analysis. Um, we are aware that due to the limited time, we could only provide a very brief introduction to our work. Um, as it's still an ongoing project, we are very much looking forward to questions and suggestions in the discussion. Thanks. Thank you.